Hi everyone, I'm here at Embedded World and during our tour I have uh, come across a very, very nice demo. I, I found it very, very interesting and uh, Mikael had uh, agreed to, to talk about it, so I think you, you, can all, uh, you can all enjoy it. Mikael, why don't you go on and say a little bit about uh, your demo and your solution and why you're here. Thank you very much, Daniel. Well, um, in fact, what, um, what we do here is we demonstrate um, a defect visual inspection system because we found out that in the market that this is something that is really booming, I would say, and there is a lot of uh, possibilities already available, but the way how we implemented this is quite new. So we implemented this in a system or module in combination with the software library, and we sell this as a complete product. So what is quite interesting is that everything is running. So this is an i.mx810 plus device, which includes also an AI accelerator, so neural processing unit. And we pull out everything, I would say, with the application on the accelerator. So, so basically, to explain everyone, you have a, already a core, an ARM core there, but the accelerator can offload the core and take, take the heavy lifting of uh, edge processing or, or of uh, image processing at the edge, right? This, this, is the, this is the key ingredient. Exactly. What is also the strength is that everything going from capturing images, training the AI, up to finding the defects or the anomalies, everything is done onto the device. So this is something that is super important, I would say, because uh, you stress out everything of, of the device. Yeah. So with more and more processing moving to the edge, being able to also train the network, and this is actually what, what really caught us, and, uh, and uh, Giovanni will show in a second. This is what, uh, what made it so interesting, that you can train a network and, and detect an anomaly, and you do all this on i.mx8 at, uh, at the edge point, all right? Exactly. All right. So in addition, maybe it's important to mention that it fits or works with any kind of object. It also works with surfaces, so like potential market is um, um, defect inspection on packaging, defect inspection in food, um, PCBs for example, PCB inspection, surfaces like textile, leather, so those kind of applications you can use it for. So it's a very broad uh, area, but I think what is important to mention also about the simplicity of implementation, it's very easy to use. And in addition, it's also very cost effective if we compare it in the market. All right, so low power, strong processing at the edge, uh, easy to implement and deploy solution. We'll, we'll, we'll see it. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see then. So I would say this is like the background, probably like you now the technical and the demo can also make interesting, be interesting. So yes, yeah. yes, so we will have a demo. Uh, Michael, thank you for explaining the, yeah. the, the solution and we'll have Giovanni who, who will join us. Come on, Giovanni. Yes. <laughs> and and hi, show hi, us hi, the Daniel. demo. Yes. Hi, Giovanni. Thanks, nice for, to, nice to meet thanks you. for this chance. Yes, yeah, sure. So we had an introduction of what it is, uh, this uh, defect visual inspection. I want to bring you through the whole process and to show you how, how easy it is, even for non-skilled people, to exploit this, the, I would say, the power of AI for finding defects. Well, first of all, the cool thing, Daniel, is that uh, uh, detecting anomalies doesn't necessarily need to define what is the anomaly. And indeed, this is what is, we are going to see. We will create a few images of the good example of an object we take this carton box that is an example for logistic for example but we could work also in the food industry like with cookies or whatever uh, typical of industrial production and we will take a few images without the defects and we will use these images for the training so let's just go for that you see here this box and we take a tenth of images like in different positions just to pretend to introduce some variability we don't have many boxes here so we just use one and we change the position you see we are grabbing some so right. at this stage we are training the network we, we are collecting the images for training the network so now I launched the training and you will see how quick it is and by the way don't forget it's not going to the cloud it's running inside the the IMX8 processor that is behind the screen there so let's launch it it's training now just eight images okay it's a simple use case you may need 
twice as that, three times as that, but we are not talking about thousands of images. We are talking about tens of images. So it's done. It's done. So you see now, this is the correct box, let's say correct without defects. And however you, you, you have it there, it doesn't find defect. But this is easy. But what if I just pretend to introduce something different? Let's say like it's, it's, there is this kind of uh, error in the packaging. The network never saw that before, but you can see it gets spotted out. So but this, what? Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, is, this is great. It didn't know where, what type of error and where the error could be, right? And you can, you can spot kind it of out. see it on the, with the I mean, that, finding that, you can do that with computer vision, engineering the features, but we didn't engineer anything to specifically solve this case. That's the point of AI into all this. And uh, of course you can uh, like pretend to have other kind of different uh, cases like this is for example a, a, oh sorry um, this is the the the, the one by one uh, inference so um, you see here spotting out the difference in the color and I would like to draw your attention also on the inference time it's running live at uh, almost eight frames per second on the IMX8, exploiting the accelerator we spoke about. Yeah, yeah. Let's put this one also, just, just yeah, of for course, fun. for completeness. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. You see there? So we see the error yeah. here in, yes, in the corner indeed. is not is not set correctly. We... Yeah. Isn't that great? This is how they got us, right? <laughs> we came here and we saw. Um, Thank you. I, I think it's a very good demo. We decided to do this simply because we really, really like the solution and, and the simplicity of it, right? Eight images, train the network, do everything on i.mx8, no fancy cloud uh, training or coming back to the target. And then without even knowing what kind of errors detecting correctly, wrong color, wrong corner, the box is open, the shape has changed all detected and everything is shot live right so whatever you saw it's real no... that's the best part of it it's real I, I and you can have it by the yeah. way and you can have it where, where can they have it Let, let's say that why not michael please My, michael come back and tell us where, where, where yeah, yeah where, where can people have it if they like so people can contact us so at avnet silica we sell this solution so we work very close together with giovanni on this uh, but contact us through maybe we can put a link uh, of yes. our website so avnet silica we have a lot of uh, technical people, also sales representatives. So, I think it's an easy way to contact us, and then you can start immediately with uh, with the solution. All right, thank you very much. Thank you all for for doing it. It's a very nice demo. I won't I won't cut it. I think I'll let it real time because I, I want people to see how you know how things were actually done live. There was no preparation or anything done, right? So even if we stumbled or bumbled or whatever, I'll I'll, I'll live with that just to let the demo. Very good. Correctly, yeah? Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you, Giovanni. Thank you, Ricardo. Thanks Thank a lot. Yep.